Dinosaurs. They weren't always massive creatures like the Tyrannosaurus rex. Imagine a world much older than ours. Dinosaurs first appeared over 230 million years ago. They were smaller then, and they evolved over a long, long time. Think of a giant family tree stretching back millions of years, that's what the dinosaur family tree looks like. Some dinosaurs were huge plant eaters, others were fierce hunters. Over many generations they changed and adapted. This family tree has many branches, each representing a different type of dinosaur. Some branches died out leaving no descendants, but one branch, one special lineage, continued to evolve. This is where the story gets really fascinating. This branch led to the creatures we know and love today. Birds! Yes, you read that right. Birds are living dinosaurs, a direct link to those prehistoric giants. Dinosaurs were a diverse group. Some walked on two legs, others on four. Some had feathers, others had scales. But they all shared a common ancestor. One group, the theropods, were mostly meat eaters. These dinosaurs were special. They walked on two legs and had sharp claws. Think Velociraptors and the mighty T-Rex. Now here's where the family tree branches towards birds. Within the theropods a group called Manoraptorans emerged. These dinosaurs had long arms, three-fingered hands and a wishbone just like birds today. Over millions of years, some Manoraptorans developed amazing adaptations. They grew feathers, not for flight at first but perhaps for insulation or display. This is a key step in the bird evolution story. Fossils are like puzzle pieces from the past. They tell us about creatures that lived long ago. And some fossils show us the incredible link between dinosaurs and birds. One famous fossil location is the Liaoning province in China. This place is a gold mine for paleontologists. They found incredible fossils of feathered dinosaurs there. Imagine a dinosaur covered in feathers, preserved in stone for millions of years. These fossils provide undeniable evidence that some dinosaurs had feathers, just like birds. These feathered dinosaurs weren't exactly like modern birds. Some had feathers on their arms and legs perhaps gliding between trees. But their fossils clearly show the evolutionary steps towards bird flight. Section 4. Archaeopteryx, a feathered icon. No discussion about dinosaurs and birds is complete without mentioning Archaeopteryx. This remarkable creature lived about 150 million years ago. Imagine a crow-sized dinosaur with sharp teeth, claws, and feathers. That's Archaeopteryx, a true transitional fossil. It had characteristics of both reptiles and birds. Archaeopteryx's skeleton was similar to small theropod dinosaurs, but it also had well-developed wings and feathers for flight. This missing link provided crucial evidence for Darwin's theory of evolution. The discovery of Archaeopteryx in the 1860s caused a sensation. Here was a creature that bridged the gap between dinosaurs and birds, proving their evolutionary connection. Section 5. From dinosaurs to birds shared traits. Birds didn't just magically appear, they inherited characteristics from their dinosaur ancestors. By studying both, we see amazing similarities. Feathers are the most obvious link. Once thought unique to birds, we now know that many dinosaurs had feathers too. They might have used them for insulation or display before evolving for flight. Hollow bones are another shared trait. Birds need lightweight skeletons to fly. Many dinosaurs, especially theropods, also had hollow bones, making them lighter and faster. And what about nests and parenting? Fossil evidence suggests that some dinosaurs cared for their eggs in nests, just like birds do today. This nesting behavior is another clue to their close relationship. The dinosaur-bird connection is a powerful example of evolution in action. It shows us that even the most extraordinary creatures can evolve from humble beginnings. By studying these ancient relatives we gain a deeper understanding of the natural world and our place within it.